injury, but it looks like he's okay. Very difficult to solo cast and stream with the iPad in your hand, so um, thank you for not having to go doing that. Have, uh, have we done an update from around the gym? We have. It, it definitely looks like the end for uh, Townsend University, which has been our dark horse this entire time. Very sad to see them go. Yeah, UWP as well, out of it. Uh, UK out of it. This game, you know, obviously really not, close, not, yeah, not done. Uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm really surprised that uh, Michigan State managed to pull a point from Saginaw. So that's all I got, really. That's, that's all. I felt like I had more, but I got nothing. Whew. I'm so full of delicious Zaxby's right now. <laughs> food coma, food coma is imminent. Well, I was talking to them about it before. It seems to me like Commodators have left less rest than the players themselves. Though we're not were throwing. Talking to them? Do you mean like the people? The watching people watching them? at home. I don't know on their computers. Talking to them, like right, right. You, you, you guys. You, know, you guys you know. know. You guys know. Okay. Um, I have a feeling that Townsend is officially giving up their last point. Yeah. Ooh, number seventy-seven going down on the foot shot right there. Yeah, uh, Townsend has given up. They have uh, seceded the last three minutes to um, JMU. So JMU will be moving on to the Final Four. Uh, I have a feeling that Grand Valley is going to have a similar situation coming up. And I would assume yeah, uh, Kentucky is going to forfeit here pretty soon. The way down. Uh, Central Michigan has taken it relatively easy. Uh, Kentucky's trying to get in some pretty impressive trick throws. Uh, there's one guy where when I talked to him earlier, and, uh, if you were watching our earlier stream, you might have seen it. He looked straight in the camera and pretty much guaranteed that he would be getting a kill off of a cartwheel. So I've been into I've watched, the face. Yeah, into the face. So I've been watching him give a few attempts at that. It's not going well. It's not, no, it's not no. Well. I don't really think. I mean, if you're playing the Xbox game, a cartwheel throw is indeed the best, and it goes on fire. But, but, not going to happen here. No, not going to happen here. Uh, real world physics being what they are, the chance of one of these balls spontaneously combusting is pretty low. <laughs> Looks like we got a catcher number 20, yeah. The Michigan State is definitely catching really well this game. Saginaw Valley struggling to get the kills that they used to get uh, in the first half, so that's really good for uh, Michigan State right now. So, uh, smart money here is for Saginaw Valley to play defensively. Can you see what we've got left on the clock? Uh, it looks like 9 minutes and 50 seconds. What I just heard from um, the, the middle court is... JMU and Townsend got together in one gigantic huddle and then cheered with each other and then East Coast. East Coast. <laughs> they, they, they went with East Coast because everybody else that is going to be in the Final Four is going to be a Michigan team. So it's East Coast now versus Michigan in the Final Four. Uh, not officially, but it's looking, looking no, no, like it. It is official now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yes. Like they're walking off the court. That's official. Um, well, I just mean, I'm, I'm assuming, no, no matter what, if whoever wins this point or the, uh, this game definitely is going to be a Michigan, uh, Michigan team. Grand Valley is going to win that game, and Central Michigan is going to win the game, so it is yeah. 100%. And that was one thing, one reason I was really excited about the JMU and Townsend game, because it meant, you know, regardless of the winner of that game, we were going to have at least one not Michigan team in our Final Four. Yep. Thank goodness. And the sad part was at the very beginning of the uh, of the day uh, or yesterday, right when they were announcing everything, they uh, JMU and um, and Townsend were going to play each other first round, and then we weren't even going to have that opportunity. We could have easily had a Final Four that was all uh, Michigan State teams. Yeah, I, I agree. We uh, we we kind of mixed up. Some, or last night after we were doing the seating, I don't know if this has been talked about. Yep. Uh, during the seating last night, there were one or two teams that were a little concerned about. Hold on. Even uh, so, from Spencer joining, even our championship year, besides Grand Valley State University, Michigan or MSU was the only team to be within a point of us. Good point. So, long-standing rivalries here. Let's see, also from Spencer Jardine, MSU always play SVSU hard at nationals. Last year, we went up two to zero to have them come back and almost win it. Then they upset us bad. <laughs> All caps on bad. Uh, the year before that in the Elite Eight. So, long kind of history with these two teams. I was unaware of that the last two years. Well, you got to assume that these Michigan State teams are all going to be playing each other over and over again throughout the course of the year. They're not that far away. Um, they all probably could point onto their hand where they are in Michigan because that's what every Michigan Everybody person does. does. I'm here in this part of the Michigan. This is where I am. 
It's the get index it. finger. It. Your hand, your, your your hand is shaped like your state. Congratulations. <laughs> you're someone from Florida. We're, no, you know I'm not. I'm no, not, no, I'm no, not no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> Michigan State. Michigan State still with the uh, still with the man advantage here. Uh, Only half the population oh. could really do that. <laughs> oh, it's I'm definitely a team. It's a team catch. Team catch. No, that was, was not, not off, the, off ball. the ball. That was a legit team catch. He even made a point. He had that purple on his hand. He made sure he kept it trapped against his chest so he didn't get a touch there. This is an exciting game. Um, left side of uh, Saginaw Valley really, really pushing it up. Right side, not so much. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Words you said are in fact true. Michigan State looking to get that uh, shot clock down to ten. All right, I gotta go. Oh boy! All right. All right, time to solo cast this sucker. Michigan State, like I said, uh, is trying to get the shot clock down for Saginaw Valley below the 10 second mark, which is going to easily give them a uh, ball advantage in the long term. So what you're going to see is uh, a very aggressive play from Michigan State in the next minute or two. Uh, plus, sorry, the camera's wiggly because I'm now holding the mic and that, five minutes left. So they definitely need to speed up the pace if they're going to tie this game up. Um, and I hope that they can because, uh, hey, a six-on-six six is always really exciting. And that is the current overtime uh, rules. So here we go. Saginaw Valley player saying, claiming, claiming that he is going to be the one to throw, and he gets one out. Number three, Wilshire. Sl slowly but surely. Saginaw Valley now with a really strong, or at least fast push. Nothing comes from that throw, though. Michigan State uh, team very adamant about giving the ball to the right people at the right time. It's number 18 calling for that ball. Mr. O'Brien. Saginaw just throwing the ball into the dirt just to get the, re the, the reset on the clock. Number 77 moving up. Got a really strong... Really strong arm. He can chuck that thing. Not as fast as I've seen him throw, but. Yeah, I agree, uh, Spencer. Spencer saying that the uh, Saginaw Valley is not playing their game right now. They're playing scared and you can't. They're playing down, and what they're trying to do is they're just trying to stall it out. They're up two to one. So it shouldn't be a problem if they just stall this out for the next four minutes here. Um, and then they win two to one. So they're not, I don't know if they're playing scared, Spencer. I think they're playing smart. They're making sure they have ball control. As you can see, every single one of the, um, uh, any number of the uh, Saginaw players have a ball and they're just keeping them. That means Michigan State can't do anything. Every 15 seconds, there's going to be a throw, and that's about it. Uh, and yes, Pamela, any, anyone know the JMU score? The JMU score ended up being two to zero in favor of JMU. Um, Actually, it might have been 3-0. I was getting lunch. But damn, you did definitely win their Elite Eight game. They will be in the Final Four. As you can see, I mean, everybody on Grand uh, Saginaw Valley is calling people back. They have every ball right now. They don't need to do anything but throw every 15 seconds, and it is impossible for Michigan State to win. I really think that this is a smart play, and they're just going to uh, they're just going to wait this out. That's all they need to do. One throw into the dirt, no kill. Doesn't matter because Michigan State gave up ball control long ago. Again, ball control. They can't do anything. Right into the dirt, done. Number 16 is going to go up, throw it, nothing's going to happen. Saginaw Valley walks up, throws one into the dirt, walk it back. And this is the... Um, yeah, yeah, Spencer, that's it. See, watch, he's, he's, he's dragging him back. I mean, this is smart, and this is the luxury that you get to... You, they earned this luxury. They get to, they get to do this because 
there is no other ball available to Michigan State. When you throw that much and you don't get a kill, it doesn't matter. Into the dirt. Walk it back. Just walk it back. Now it's about two minutes, ten seconds as far as I can see. There's a gigantic goal post right in my way, so I'm, I'm guessing as best as I can what, what is up there. Oh, they really needed that. Oh, and they threw away their other ball. Jones throwing away their last ball. That's, that's pretty much all she wrote, folks. That's all. No, you need to just back up. 77 goes down. Alex, everything all right over there, man? Yep, all is well. Just had uh, one last minute minor head injury from Townsend before they got out of here. Well, Saginaw Valley definitely going to win this game just because of ball control. Whoa. Whoa, we have uh, number eight getting ejected, I think, because he's trying to steal a ball from the and physical contact is really not encouraged at all. Under no circumstance are you allowed to touch another player, and definitely not like that. So at this point, I think there's just it's just frustration. They just know that Saginaw Valley has been playing the ball control game and that nothing they could do. Every time they throw a ball, everybody on Saginaw Valley's uh, team has a blocker or a ball in their hand, and they can't do anything about it. So the last five, six minutes uh, haven't been the most eventful, but... Um, we're under two minutes now. Yeah, we're under two minutes, but they haven't been the most eventful, but they don't need to be is the point. Right, so uh, I'm sure you already covered it, but the Grand Valley game is over. Grand Valley obviously moving on from there. The uh, Townsend... Uh, JMU game over, uh, and JMU moving on from there, and the Central Michigan UK game over, the Central Michigan moving on. So this will be the last decider. I agree with you. We're under a minute now, uh, so I don't see any way for Michigan State to try to tie this up because that's what they're going for at this point. And, and now Saginaw Valley is getting um, is getting aggressive again because there's uh, there's just nothing that uh, Michigan State can do as long as they control. Any amount of, uh, of the balls, uh, they'll be fine. I agree. Uh, hopefully we'll have a few minutes of downtime before the final four games start, uh, the two final four games start up, because I'd love to get to talk, uh, do a quick interview with the captains of those teams, kind of get their thoughts going into it, and maybe get you know some idea from them what we should be looking for in those games. So we'll Official. There. We're wrapping it up there. Uh, Saginaw Valley winning against Michigan State 2-1. to one. And we will be right back with some interviews.